Hey GITV, this is Ed the Meerkat. I'm the store manager over in our Virginia location. I'm out here in sunny California. I'm having a great time. So this is my 10 loadout tactical gearheads video. So starting off at the top, I'm wearing my San Beret with regimental SAS patch. The reason I wear that is no, I was not in the Special Forces and I was certainly not in the SAS. Uh, but when I was in high school, um, a teacher of mine was former regiment and so I wear this in his honor. Moving down, I have my ESS turbofan goggles. A lot of you know I wear glasses so it was important for me to be able to see my targets. So ESS turbofans work really well for me. There's a two-stage motor, so fogging is never an issue. But the neat thing is I have inserts in these, so I can walk around without contacts, walk around without my glasses. Moving down, I have my Bravo mesh mask in OD. Very important piece of equipment for me. I'm British, so everybody thinks our teeth are bad, so I want to make sure that they stay in my mouth. My uniform is by LBX in Multicam. It's really soft, it's really comfortable. I love the top, that zipper right here is really nice. My pants are also LBX and Multicam. They have a lot of pockets. One of the things that's kind of unique about them is they don't actually have rear pockets, which is fine because my battle belt is usually around my waist and I have things off my battle belt. So even if it did have pockets, I wouldn't be able to reach them. My plate carrier is a Lancer plate carrier. It's the 4096. It's really comfortable. I like a smaller plate carrier. It fits really snugly. So on my Lancer plate carrier, I have some M4 pouches. These are really unique. They're by R Tactical, and these are their Mark II. What makes them kind of unique is they were developed by a Marine that came back from active duty. Inside, there is a metal plate. And what it does is it presses against the mag. So as you remove one of your mags, the next one falls right into place. They have a fire retardant coating, and they also have an IR defeating as you could put it, capability. So those of you who run nods at night, uh, you won't see my mag pouches. Moving down, my Condor one-point sling in multicam. Really versatile, really useful. Keeps my gun at the ready whenever I need it. My belt is a Black Hawk belt. Uh, it's really comfortable. There's a little pull straps here so I can keep it nice and tight. On my side, I have a Black Hawk Serpa holster and I have my KWA M9. It's made by KWA, as I've said. It's gas. It's a great pistol. Now, Virginia has a lot of temperature variations. In the winter, it's really cold. In the summer, it's really, really hot. A lot of people are concerned about how this will do. It's a pistol. I'm not engaging targets at a long distance. So even in the cold, when I fill these mags up, I've still got enough range in the cold temperature to still reach out and hit my targets. In the summer, there's never a problem reaching out and touching them with this. So I also have my trusty HSGI mag pouches here. Uh, really great. The retention on these is really, really good. Keeps it for easy removal and I can put them away whenever I need. For extra capabilities for carrying ammunition, I have Condor's double stack M4 pouches. On my back, as you can see, I have my dump pouch. A lot of people keep it on the side. I like to keep it out of the way, so I keep it right in my back. On my back, I always like to run a backpack. A lot of you know I run a Polestar, so it's a great place for me to put my tank, but I can also carry all my extra gear. I can carry a first aid kit if it's not already on my belt. I can carry extra bandages. I can carry grenades. I can carry water. I have my hydration pack in there, made by Lancer. And it's a big three liter, two and a half liter and keeps me nicely hydrated. Backpack made by Lancer has plenty of pockets, plenty of molly, plenty of places to store equipment. On my hands, I actually wear the mechanics gloves in Multicam. One of the things I like about these is they actually have a rigid plastic over the knuckles. And first time I ever played Airsoft, I actually got shot, I wasn't wearing gloves, I got shot right on the knuckles. We all know wherever there's bare skin, that's where you're going to be shot. They've got some great grips on those, and more importantly, they protect my hands against those pesky BBs, brambles, all of that nasty stuff that you run across that will tear up your hands. So one of the guns I run, and the gun I have with me today, is my Elite Force 416. 
I have not really done any external work to it. Everything is pretty much stock. What I did put on is I put on the Magpul angled foregrip. Gives me a good grip on the front. And I actually have a Gemtech barrel extension on here because I actually extended the barrel. Most of the stuff I've done to this gun is internally. Internally, what have I done? Well, I took the stock barrel out and I put a Miracle barrel in. It gives me that little bit extra range and it gives me, more importantly, a tighter grouping. I then took out the motor and I put in a G&G high torque motor, which allows me to run an 11.1. I still also run my 7.4 batteries. Just because I can run an 11.1, the 7.4 still gives me that comfort that I'm not putting too much stress on my gearbox. I put a new piston in it. Well, Zach put a new piston in it and reinforced. That's pretty much what I've done to my gun. I really like the 4.16. Uh, I have several different guns, but this is the gun I usually have as my primary. If I am running my Polestar, this is always with me. It is a great backup gun um, and it's comfortable.